All right, I just want to start off by uh, uh, just kind of acknowledging our players and uh, coaches, especially on the defensive side. Uh, the guys have done a excellent job this year. Uh, they've been so coachable. Uh, they've been uh, hardworking. Um, they've played a lot of good football. You know, obviously we didn't get the results that we wanted this season, but I'm so appreciative of the players, the coaches. Uh, I've said it up over and over again, but it's so true. Our position coaches, our quality control coaches, all the defensive coaches have just done an excellent job. Uh, hard, work, hard work, intelligence, um, expertise, uh, pouring into the players um, physically, emotionally, mentally. Um, so it's been a fun year um, in a lot, a lot of standpoints. And uh, um, but I uh, owe so much to these guys, the players and the coaches, and I just want to acknowledge that. DJ, what? Um what was your reaction when Derek Brown didn't make the Pro Bowl last night? Uh, I just thought it was that was a miss. You know, uh, he's had a heck of a year. He's been uh, so disruptive. Uh, you could uh, not. I don't think it's arguably. I think he's been the best run defender in the NFL this year. Uh, he's done a heck of a job rushing the quarterback um, and creating pressures. You know, the interception, the batted balls. There's been so much production. Uh, the leadership. He's been uh, instrumental in everything that we've done, and I think that was just a miss. Without uh, any reaction to Brian Burns being a second alternate, I believe. Um, what can you say about his season? It's been sack numbers have been down, but yeah. still clearly respect among the. Yeah, exactly, and I think that's the um, the league talking there, right? He's uh, obviously he hasn't got the production he wanted, but uh, I think uh, I not I think I know that there's a lot of uh, teams around the league and a lot of players respect him. Um, they don't like playing against him. And uh, they know he's hard to, to block, and so uh, that's what you're seeing there. You, you mentioned Derek's mm -hmm. run defense. What is it about him this year that's made him so good in that aspect of the game? Uh, well, I thought he was pretty good last year. You know, <laughs> he's he's really he's he's a heck of a player. And uh, I, what you see in him is just a continued growth and maturation, and uh, learning the NFL game, understanding not only using his physical ability, but also you know all the nuances of the game that come with experience and uh, all of that thing. All of that is just playing out. So. Learned about him this year that you didn't know just from watching tape. Now that you've gotten to know him as a person, well, uh, he plays hard. He plays hard. I mean, and it's—I've said it before, but it's—it's it's probably the most impressive thing that he does for a man that big, 340 plus pounds to run down the field, run, play hard every down. He's making plays 40 yards down the field, um, and he's a heck of a leader. You know, he's just—he uh, works hard. He's a great leadership skills, but uh, plays the way that you want uh, everyone to play. Put in perspective, just I mean the tackles for Derek. I mean, I was a little surprised as how you know that that could be a will be a record if he gets three. I guess yeah. on Sunday, yeah. um, is is that necessarily a good thing that he's gotten that many tackles in your scheme, or exactly like put it in perspective? Uh, I would say yes, it's a very good thing that he's getting that many tackles. Yeah, they can't block him. So uh, yeah, he's uh, he's been so productive and. Um, you know, he, he draws so much attention, and uh, you see it in the scheme, you see it on the tape, and then also, like, just, you know, you talk to opposing coaches, and they, they acknowledge, like, man, we have to really plan around this guy. And, um, you know, if, when he's single block, he's going to make the play. EJ, have you kind of building off that, have you seen him get more attention towards the back half of this year? How have you seen him kind of combat that handle? Yeah. No, he certainly has, but uh, you know, even before I took this job, I knew what a player he was, and um, I, his reputation in the league is a guy that's hard to block. It's uh, that's been happening for a couple of years now. So, what uh, did you learn from this first Tampa Bay game, especially where it comes to Mike Evans? Well, I played against him for a long time. He's a heck of a player. Um, you definitely have to account for him in your game plan. Um, we, uh, you know, poor planning and. Uh, Poor playing, you know. We gave up a couple of things that uh, we um, wish we could have back, but um, I think we just got to understand what type of player he is, uh, what he could do, especially down the field, and uh, we have to be better at understanding that and containing them. What's your understanding of uh, JC's availability this week? Uh, questionable, I think. Um, we'll see. Uh, he's he's um, had a little bit of practice walkthroughs. We'll see as we get closer what that's going to be like. We may not get to talk to you. Uh, next week uh, just kind of wondering what your focus will be going into an uncertain offseason yeah well first uh we got to handle the business of sunday um and then next week i'm spending a lot of time with the family that's what i'm looking forward to till everything plays out can you say now if any conversations that you would get an interview here would you like an interview here for the uh, i have not had any conversations with uh, anybody about that you obviously interested in uh, you know, I'm really just focused in on uh, Tampa right now. You 
you interviewed for the head coaching post here last year. How did how was that experience with specifically with uh, David Tepper? It was great. Uh, you know, just like all the other interviews I did, it's always a great learning experience. Um, being in that setting and uh, really thinking um, more globally, thinking outside of just schemes and uh, players, and thinking about how the uh, entire organization is run. And so, uh, those are all great experiences. And uh, definitely had a really good interview with uh, Mr. Tepper last year. And so, um, yeah. You think you're ready to be a head coach? Uh, I don't know if anybody ever is ready to be a head coach. You know, um, until you sit in that seat, you really don't know what you're you're dealing with. But um, you know, I've had a lot of good experience, but I'm really, I'm really, I, I mean this uh, wholeheartedly. I am focused and invested in Tampa Bay and trying to beat them and finish off on a good note. Did you know, with regard to Tampa Bay, the last time you guys faced them, um, you were able to keep the game with the defense, you know, in range. Um, but they were coming off a string of you know, a lot more losses. Now they got a more of a head of steam coming into this game. How much more of a challenge and how different do they feel? Yeah, I mean they're they're a very good football team. They're they're playing well. I know they had a setback last week, but um, you know they're playing really well and on both sides of the ball. Uh, they are physical, um, especially the way they've been committed to running the ball, and uh, they've got explosive playmakers and uh, a quarterback that has the ability to make splash plays. And so this is a very good football team. Uh, we uh, we felt the same way first time we played them, um, and we know it's going to be a tough day on Sunday. If I could follow up, just. One thing that several players have said, including Brian, uh, was that they think this defensive staff, regardless of who's hired as head coach, uh, should be given consideration to be brought back, if not intact, close to it. Your thoughts when you hear words like that from Brian Burns? Well, I'm very appreciative. Uh, you know, obviously, we get to do what we do because of the players and getting to coach uh, players like. Uh, um, uh, like Derek is uh, definitely uh, it's an honor um, we uh, we're very fortunate to do what we do I'm personally very fortunate because uh, I work with such wonderful people you know Todd Wash Tim Lekabu, um Peter Hansen Burt Watts uh, Jonathan Cooley Bobby Maffei uh, D'Angelo uh, Mayor Chahari all of those guys are just uh, Dom Capers obviously um, you know, what a blessing Dom has been for me the last two years and uh um, it's just helped me immensely, and uh, we just have so many wonderful coaches, um, excellent coaches, guys that are going to be future coordinators and head coaches on our staff, and I'm so blessed just to have this opportunity and to coach a bunch of great players the last two years, and so, um, you know, it's, I'm, I'm blessed. What's Dom meant to your career? A whole lot, a whole lot. He's, uh, he's taught me a lot. He's given me good perspective, good advice. Um, and uh, probably the most importantly, uh, important thing about it is uh, he's such a quality human being. He um, he exemplifies what you how you want people to handle themselves in this business, and uh, he's been a really good uh, uh, example for me and a lot of other people. You mentioned off the top, even in thanking the players and the staff, um, their ability to push through physically and emotionally, the adversity of the season. What has it taught you? Uh, you know. Uh, not to underestimate these guys. I mean, not just guys on our team, but all over the league. Uh, uh, these players um, and all of these guys that play in the NFL are just superhuman. And it's not even about their uh, their talent, their physical stature, and their speed and all that. It's really just with all the, the pressure, with all the um, negativity in the world, social media, all these things going on, and their, their ability to focus and play uh, with all the scrutiny. It's, it's, uh, it's, I don't know how people do it. And, uh, Especially witnessing it the last two years with our uh, players, it's been uh, you just you just marvel at what these guys can do. What do you think of the, the changes in the interview cycle this year, where um, folks on playoff teams won't be able to interview to the third week of January? Think that's I, fair. Um, you know, I was not quite aware of that. I knew there was something about they pushed it back to two weeks after the last game, but I wasn't quite aware of that part of it. But um, um, you know, I don't I don't know what's fair or not. I I can't worry about that. We all good? All right, thank you. All right, thank you all. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate you guys. It. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you.